Hey everyone, it's Julie at the Paper Bag Lady One. Happy Friday! So, it's been an interesting couple weeks in my world. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the most recent of the chaotic news is that I have fractured my foot. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. That happened on Monday night. No, I lied. Tuesday night. Um, so I'm now in a boot for six weeks, which has taken me off of the gym, which I hate, and taken me out of dance class, which is like my favorite thing on the world. And when, by the time I get rid of this boot, I will have three and a half weeks into my dance recital. So I am hoping and praying that I will be able to dance in this recital because that would just break my heart if I couldn't. But anyway, so on top of that, my dad had surgery. He's been in the hospital for close to two weeks. I've been running here, running there, running to see grandma and Hershey and do stuff for her. Um, my husband was out of town for a week and a half, so I was doing the single parent thing. My cat has a UTI and is peeing all over the house. So yeah, so the foot was just the icing on the cake, but we have to be thankful because it could have been a much worse break and it was my left foot, so I can still drive. I'm not completely homebound, although right now I'm still kind of just taking it easy because it, you know, hurts. But anyway, so that happened and then that was Tuesday. And Wednesday, I spent all day running around to the doctors and the orthopedist. And then yesterday, I got a package in the mail. And I was not expecting it at all. And I was so excited. And my friend Taya sent me a package. I had a birthday back in March. And um, so she sent me this little package of goodies. So here, I'm going to show you. Because look at this card she made. Okay, look at this. Now, generally, I am not a fan of, of the faceless children like I it's just not me to stamp them and color them but this little chickadee with these balloons okay she's just cute she is she's cute and I love these little balloons and I love the colors that she used and this piece of doily back here and um I like I see she paper pieced her dress okay you like you'd have to like sedate me to get me to do something like that because I just don't have the patience for this fussy cutting but she is such a cutie patootie even without lips <laughs> I have to laugh, but I do. I think she's really sweet holding these balloons and I really like it a lot. So anyway, she sent me this lovely card and then she sent me some other goodies. She sent me some flowery things. Whoops. She sent me some, um, what do you call these? Rosettes. Yes. Rosettes, which I actually have very, very few of. So that was very exciting for me. And look, I really like this with the little thingy who in the middle, it almost looks like a little bow. And then, oh, and then here's, look at that gorgeous color. You can't, it looks blue on the camera, I see, but it's really beautiful teal green. And I can only assume that she's made that, which is lovely. And then look at these, look at these cuties. I'm assuming she made those too. And you see, it's like little circle-y things. And I am really baffled as to how, how this was created. Is that what the trim looks like? I don't know, but they're really cute. So Taya, I really need to know how you did this because I'm very, very curious and puzzled. So there's that. And then she has sent me, whoops, let's move this out of the way, this envelope of goodies. Let's shake them all out there. First of all, we have all these cute little wooden butterflies in the dark wood and the light wood and the medium wood in varying sizes. Look how sweet those are. I don't have a clue where she got those, but they're so sweet. And then we have, look, little doilies and look at these little heart doilies. I'm assuming you made these, Taya. They're so cute. Look at them all tiny. Love that. And I love the colors too. <gasps> and I actually think, you know, oodles ago, oodles of years ago, I bought the, the Graphic 45, the wedding paper. And I honestly think these colors would probably work with that. So yay. So look at that. And then look at this. She has sent me their wood shapes, little boy blue from crepe paper. And um, I don't know how you can see, but like there's a friend, there's a rattle, there's a teddy bear. Looks like there might be a stork. There's a, I see a diaper pin in there. There's all these, oh, oh that must be the head of a rocking horse. So I'm very excited about all this because I find, I mean, I do a lot of baby albums and I find that little boy albums are difficult to embellish because you know, you just can't slather flowers all over them. I mean, I guess you could, but I have found that lots of potential parents or grandparents don't really want the flowers all over the little boy ones. So something like this is just perfect. And I can see, you know, taking a little ribbon, tying it around the, um, 
the rattle or maybe around the neck of the teddy bear. Oh, it looks like there's a head that you can make a cameo. So anyway, oh, there's some words in there too. So I am very excited about this. I love this. I wish it had a picture on the back of all of them. I'm going to have to open it up soon and check it out. So this was my fun surprise goodie box from Taya, which just completely made my day as I was sitting there on the sofa grumping to myself that I couldn't go to Zumba. <laughs> Um, so Taya, thank you so, so much for thinking of me. It was wonderful. I'm going to add this card to my wall of all the multitudes of other cards that she and other people have made me. Here, look, I'll show you a little peeky. Look, see that? She made that sign that says my name on it, too. It says Julie and a whole bunch of those cards she did. A bunch of other people did cards, too. But anyway, I always hang everything up on my walls. I'm running out of room over there. Um... I'm going to have to find someplace else. I've kind of veered over to my left a little bit also, but I, I'm kind of running out of space. I might have to do some rearranging in here, but not till my foot's better. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you these goodies and say thank you again, Tay. I really appreciate it. I hope you will all have a fantastic weekend since I will be doing much more sitting around these next few weeks than I had anticipated. I imagine you might see some more videos from me. I will hopefully get started cutting the doilies. I haven't really been cutting them at all because I have to tell you, I cut them so much and so many times that I just needed a break from that. But um, now, since I'm doing a lot of sitting, we're back at it. And um, since I was supposed to start working at the flower shop today, that's not going to happen for a couple weeks either. So anyway, have a great weekend, everyone. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.